We wish growth was this nice, neat, smooth arc upward. It just doesn't work like that, you know that. Growth is tumultuous. When I was 14 years old, I went blind from this rare eye disease. It was like winning the lottery, but the exact opposite. Being led into school as a newly blinded person, you know, sitting at a table by myself, listening to all the excitement and laughter and joy and food fights over there that I wanted to desperately be a part of. What I was afraid of was that I would be shoved to the sidelines. I'd never be in the food fights, a life lived for nothing, a life that was meaningless. That was way more terrifying than anything blindness could do to me. It doesn't really matter whether you're blind or not. We're all in the same boat. We're all reaching into darkness. We're all hoping that we will find what we are looking for. People fall into three categories. We call them quitters, campers, or climbers. Quitters are self-explanatory. We're not gonna talk about them this morning, but campers start out climbing and then somewhere along that ascent, things get in the way. Climbers are a rare group. If I could see, I know I'd be looking at a lot of climbers out here today. There are those people who continue to figure out a way to, to grow and evolve and explore and challenge themselves every day of their lives until the day they die. So I think the question I ask myself every day is how do we climb? When it makes so much more sense, it's so much easier to camp. Do we allow adversity to diminish us or do we allow it to shape us into something beautiful and purposeful and profound? That is our choice. I wish you a life rich with adversity. Adversity that will sculpt you, that will test you, that will push you to reach maybe just a little bit farther. I promise you it will never be easy, but it'll be a great adventure. To the class of 2022, keep climbing. Thank you so much.